Good morning everyone, it's almost 7 o'clock in New Zealand, so that will be 9 in Holland, unfortunately the time has changed there yesterday and this weekend here, so now um, yeah, it's, it's a bigger time uh, difference, but uh, well, hopefully there are still people there to come and join me, um, yeah, I will start in a minute, um, I think I have explained uh, what kind of yoga um, uh, we are doing, Ostanga yoga, but um, yeah, I always try to um, do a little bit for everyone, so sometimes a little bit easy and sometimes a little bit more tricky, um, and Ostanga is the most active yoga, so yeah, that's, that's why it's, uh, there are a lot of movements in there, and um, um, yeah, sometimes there are tricky movements in there, but I won't always do them. And uh, what I've been saying, um, yoga takes a lot of practice to grow, to grow to the light, uh, to um, yeah, uh, to get more confident with yourself and your body, but also to get a step further. Uh, which you're relaxing in your brain, uh, meditation, breathing is a part of it, what is very important. Um, yeah, maybe you want to look it up sometime, um, or maybe I can write it out a little bit, what it's all about, because we don't want to always talk about what it all is. Um, we also want to join this uh, moment to go through all those movements, that's why, why I'm here for. Um, so yeah, one minute to go, I'm just uh, going to say make sure that you have, um, if you have a mat, that's probably nicer than just on the floor, if you have a towel or anything or yoga blocks around you, uh, make sure you have that next to you so that can help you a little bit, um, water bottle if you need to. I hope everybody can see me well. Uh, I had to change my spot because I was in front of the mirror and I was not working with the lights. So hopefully this works well. Uh, it's a little bit of a different angle. Please let me know if it's not working as well. Then I can change my setup again. Well, I think it is yet yeah, right by 7 o'clock and I want to start because sometimes I go too much over my time and I want to try not to do that. Um, so let's just first start with your toes together, heels apart and just roll your shoulder back. Maybe close your eyes and shake your head a little bit or circle it and shake your shoulders. Wake your body up. Well, in Holland we are awake already, but just try to come to your body and just leave everything what you had on your mind behind you. And just really feel your body, feel your ten toes in the floor, feel your feet. And like I said earlier, yoga is meant to be to grow through the light to get better in your movements, your breathing, which is most important. And with this kind of yoga, we are using our energy locks. And I'm gonna make sure that you're gonna feel them again. And yes, it's not easy. It is hard. It takes practice before you all, all notice and before you get that breathing right. So first, like, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Now try to make a gorgle sound in your throat, like the wind or the waves. And try that with your mouth open, maybe that's a little bit easier. Breathe in. See how that feels? Now try it with your mouth closed. Maybe you find it weird in the beginning, but you will get used to it. Now, just open your eyes a little bit, get you 
hands to the light again. Tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your butt. And I've not explained it before like this because maybe I was a little bit embarrassed, but the muscles you are flexing is actually the muscles when you really have to go to the toilet, <laughs> when you have a full bladder, those muscles you are flexing. And also you need to get used to this. I wasn't doing it all the time in the beginning. Now your belly, think about it when you breathe in, it goes out. And when it breathe, when you breathe out, it goes into your spine. Your lower back, your lower muscles goes in. That's you. So your Mulu Bandhas, Ujjayaga Bandhas, and then we have our Yolandara Bandhas. We don't use that that much, but so you know, those are the energy locks we use and try it so that the energy will flow through your body in the right ways, through your channels. So let's start this. Take a deep breath in, reach to the ceiling, breathe out, bend your knees, put your hands in, stretch your feet. Breathe in, look up to the horizon. Breathe out, step or jump in your high plank. If you need to, come on your knees and lower down with your elbows next to your body. Roll your shoulders back, squeeze your butt, be in baby cobra, or press yourself all the way up to up dog. Now tuck your toes back on there, coming down facing dog. Now make sure you press your shoulders into your back and you open your elbows a little bit, spread your fingers. If you need to, bend your knees a little bit and lift your heels if you're not that flexible or if you are not comfortable in that position today or whenever you need to during this yoga session you can always come to your child's pose and this is the pose where you just sit in and press your shoulder blades back to get a good stretch and relax I hope you have been breathing in the meantime. We have probably had already five breathings, but take another breath in and out. Now breathe in and when you breathe out, look at your hands and step in between. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, forward, forward. Breathe in, raise all the way up. Reach, make yourself long. Breathe out, hands to your head, heart, and let go. Let's try this again. Wake our body up. Breathing in, reach. Breathing out, roll down through your spine. Put your hands next towards your feet. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, step or jump in your higher plank and come to your lower plank. Breathe in, open your chest. Lay your hips down in cobra, press them away from the floor and up dark. Tuck your toes back on and come to down facing dog. Now, like I said earlier, make sure those shoulders are in your back. Opening your elbows a little bit and spread your fingers. Your hands are all the way down into the mat. Try to bring that belly to your spine to make sure you let the energy flow in the right positions. out and look at your hands and step in between. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, go to a forward fold. Breathe in, raise to the light. Breathe out. Some city. Okay, here we go again. Breathe in. In through your nose and out through your nose when you roll down. Breathe in, look 
look up to the horizon. Breathe out, step or jump. Breathe out. Put your elbows next to it, your body. Breathing in, lift yourself away from the floor. Squeeze your butt. Breathing out, press your hips towards the ceiling in your down facing dog. And like I said earlier, every time when you need to, when your body doesn't feel as great today, you might want to be in your child's pose now. And then try this Ujjayi, Ujjayi breathing with your nice sound in your throat. And try to press your belly into your spine. Breathe in one more time and when you breathe out, look at your hands and step in between. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, go to four folds. Breathe in, make yourself long. Breathe out, Samastiti. Okay, the second sun salutation is a little bit faster because the brain has one breathing every time. Here we go, breathe in, reach towards the ceiling. Breathe out, roll down through your spine. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, step or jump in your higher plank and come to your lower plank. Breathe in, open your chest. Breathe out, down facing dog. Now bend your knees, step your right foot in between your hands, lower your back heel, breathe in. Breathe out, come to your high plank, low plank. Breathe in, open your chest. Breathe out, down facing dog. Bend your knees, step your left foot in between your hands, lower back heel. Breathe in, and one breath out in your higher plank and lower plank. Breathe in, open your heart. Breathe out. Press your hips back and stay here. Now deeply breathe. And maybe you need to go to your child's pose now. If this was a little bit fast for you, if not, make sure you open your elbows again a little bit. Spread your fingers, shoulders into your back, and look back. Keep practicing this breathing. Make that sound. You will get used to it. Breathe in one more time. And when you breathe out, look at your hands, step in between. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, fold. Breathe in, reach all the way up. Breathe out, some city. One more time, let's get all the way warm. Do you feel the energy flowing through your body, yeah? Let's do this again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, step or jump in your high plank, lower plank. Breathe in, baby cobra or up dog. Breathe out, down facing dog. Bend your knees, step your right foot in between, put your back heel down. Breathe in, make yourself long. Breathe out, do one time, higher plank, lower plank. Breathe in, upper dog or cobra. Breathe out, down facing dog. Bend your knees, step your left foot in between, lower your back heel. Breathe in, breathe out, do one time, higher plank, lower plank. 
Breathe in, upper dog. Breathe out, down facing dog. Stay here, come to your child's pose. If you don't remember, I will show your heels out, the knees out, feet together, and sit back on your heels. And just reach your hands so you can really have that decrease stretch in your shoulders. If you need to do this in between, that's totally fine. Listen to your body. Maybe you need that relaxation in between. To not have to, to just not have to think a moment. And just feel your body and your breath. Because most of the times when we're doing those positions, we're still thinking too much because we are not used to it. Now wherever you are, breathe in one more time, breathe out and step in between your hands. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, come to a forward fold. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out. Okay, let's get going. Feet underneath your hips. Now take, put your hands on your hips. Take a deep breath in. Roll your shoulders back. Squeeze butt. And breathe out. Come out of your hips all the way down. Now, maybe you need to put your hands on your shins or your ankles. Or maybe you need to bend your knees a little bit. If you have an elastic, you can put that around your foot. Or if you can, two fingers around your big toe, thumb around, and then take a deep breath in when you look up at the horizon and breathe out. Come to a forward fold. Now make sure your elbows are out to the side. And like I said earlier, maybe you need to bend your knees. Now you can rest your chest a little bit on your knees and just try to look back and try to be relaxed in your shoulders. slowly come up. Breathe in, open the chest, press your hips forward, breathe out. Samastiti. Okay, now um, put your right foot out to the side, arms to the side, take a deep breath in. Breathe out, turn your right foot, reach to the side and come down out of your hip. Now make sure this stays long and you reach your arm up. Now maybe you need to bend your knee a little bit, but make sure your hand is on top of your shin or if you can, come down a little bit lower, but try not to bend forward then. We don't want this. You want the front of your body to be open. Be one line from the top of your fingers through your shoulders towards your other hands. And press your hips kind of forward, squeeze your butt. Breathe in one more time. Breathe out. Look down at your foot. Breathe in. Turn your right foot. Breathe out. Turn your left foot open. Reach to the side and come down. Now also here. First try to press your shoulder blade back and reach your hand up. And then see how far you can go with your lower hand. Maybe you can go a little bit lower or maybe you need to bend your knee a little bit. Just 
Feel it stretch inside of your body. And look up high if you can. Breathe in one more time and when you breathe out, look down at your foot. Breathe in, take your arm to the sides, turn your left foot, breathe out. Step in front of your mat, samusthiti. Okay, step your right foot again, out to the sides. Now, take a deep breath in and when you breathe out, turn your right foot open again and bend your knee above your ankle. So make sure you press that foot into the mat and that one to Try to keep those hips open. Now you're going to extend this. You can bring your elbow to knee and a long arm reach towards your ear and you look up. Or if you are a little bit more flexible, you can put your hand down. If not, that's totally fine. It takes all time and not everybody, not everybody's body is the same. Keep breathing in. And out of course. Breathe in one more time. Breathe out, look down at your foot. Breathe in, turn your right foot. Breathe out, turn your left foot, come to the sides. Elbow to knee, long arm next to your ear, or all the way down. And also in this position, try not to reach your arm forward, but we want our body open like this. Look down at your foot, breathe in, turn your foot, arms to the side, breathe out, step in front of your mat, Samastiti. Again, right foot, but stay going to take a bigger step this time. Now breathe in, when you breathe out, open your heels to the side and grab your hips again. Now take a deep breath in, roll your shoulders back, squeeze butt, press hips forward and when you breathe out, come out of your hips, all the way down. Now if you can, hold your hands on your hips and just relax your head down. Maybe you will reach the floor, but that takes practice, it doesn't have to. Now if that doesn't feel great, you can also be here. Or if that still doesn't feel comfortable, lay your elbows on the top of your upper legs. Now wherever you are, keep breathing in and out. Feels good. Hold the halfway. 
Or still, if that's not working for you, you can be here or just lean here. Just listen to your body, what feels good for you today. But if you want that stretch in your shoulders, that would be nice to be here. And just rest your arms forward. Try to relax into your neck and shoulder blades. your leg up and pull it down. Ah. Now let's go to the transition for our sitting positions. Breathe in, reach your hands up. Breathe in, up, bend your knees, put your hands in, stretch your feet. Breathe in, reach, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, step or jump in your high plank. Elbows next to your body when you're lower. Breathe in. Squeeze your butt, breathe out, stand facing dog, bend your knees, step your right foot in, your left foot in, and sit down on your chair, kind of. Now come up with your leg, make sure you have that long back, tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your butt and legs together, and raise your arms. 
Now if you can, hands together. If it's not feeling right, you can fold your hands together and just the top fingers. If this is still not right in your shoulders, you can also hold on to your elbows. And just deeply breathe. Maybe you can sit a little bit lower. Let, let's work our legs. Squeeze your butt. Try to relax your shoulders down. Breathe in one more time. And this time when you breathe out, lower down with your hands next towards your feet. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, step or jump in your higher plank, lower plank. Breathe in, open your chest. Breathe out, down facing dog. Breathe in, bend your knees, lower one knee. Lower the other knee to come and sit down. Now if you have been with me, you know those vinyasas will keep going through the sitting positions. Options are, like I said, one knee down and the other, or you put your other knee next to it and sit down like that or to the other side. We can also jump, but make sure that, that it's not an easy one. So make sure you are um, um, trained enough to do it. I don't want later on messages, oh I had to jump and then I fell and I broke my poles or whatever. <laughs> we don't want that. So, and you know your body, so be safe also with working out and doing yoga. Now sit down on your sit bones, flex your feet, and then put your hands next door to your hips. For some people, this is not really as easy to put your hands all the way there and you can put them a little bit farther away. That's also an option. Now breathe in and breathe out. Bring your chin to your chest. And make sure you flex those feet though. That's why you feel that stretch all the way on the back of your legs through your whole back up. And like I said, if you need to sit back a little bit. Here was that Yolanda Randak. Uh, Yolanda Randa, but that and that one energy we don't use that much. Now take a deep breath in, raise your arms up and breathe out. If you can, put your fingers on the back of your feet and your thumbs in the front of your feet. Or grip your shins or your ankles and if you need to, bend your knees a little bit. Or if you have that towel or a bend, you can put that around your foot and be like this. Now, wherever you are right now, take a deep breath in, look up at the horizon, breathe out and come forward. Now, we want to keep that long back, so we're trying to reach our chest towards our feet, so you're kind of shining with, with the light on your feet and your chins. Open your arms, like have your elbows up, so it's kind of looking like a real strong position. And then look forward. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, let go and come to your sitting position, vinyasa. Now if you don't want to go through the whole vinyasa, you're just going to stay here and put your hands down 
you know, press yourself up. If that's not comfortable, just sit here and take a couple of breaths with me. If you are capable to come with me, put your hands down. Breathing in, in your higher plank, you breathe out to your lower plank. Breathing in, upper dog or cobra. Breathing out, down facing dog. Breathing in, bend your knees, lower one, lower the other, then come to a sitting position. Now, if you can grab your right heel uh, with your right hand and with your left hand to the top of your foot and try to lay your foot as close as you can all the way up towards your yeah, hip, kind of, uh, your um, yeah, kind of your belly and relax this knee down. Now, if you can, right arm all the way around you and maybe you can even hold that feet that way. It's not easy and otherwise just hold your arm onto your back and then reach your arm up and try to grab the other one, other foot. That's the most hardest position. If this is not working, you can also just bring your foot a little bit lower. Or if you can keep it here, you can always just be here. If that's easier for you to sit a little bit more up or your arm just resting on your back. Or if that's not working, then put your feet next to it, your upper leg. Well, I hope that were enough options. If you were in your position already, make sure you are breathing, lifting your chest again. Breathe out and come forward. You can also hold on with two feet if you don't want your arm around your back. Yeah, there we go. I try to keep using the words, but I always forget kind of. I'm more busy with explaining what we have to do in these positions. Now put your hands down again if you're ready for your vinyasa. Breathing in, breathing out and lower. Breathing in, up dark or cobra. Breathing up, down facing dog. Breathing in, bend your knees, lower one and the other and to come and sit down. Let's try the other side. <clears throat> now, I will show you the easiest option first. You put that next door to your leg and then just hold on to your feet or have one behind. That's what works for you. Or if that's not you working, maybe your hands here, grab your ankle. Now, or you can have your um, feet just underneath your knee and be like that or like that. But try to bring your feet all the way up here, rest that knee down. And if you can, maybe you can even reach to your feet. I can be the, yeah, here we go. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in, look up the horizon and breathe out, look forward. Breathe in, look up, breathe out, let go. It's not an easy position, so just, it takes practice. And listen to your body, what feels good for you. Also in your vinyasa, if you want to stay here, that's totally fine, you come with me. me. Breathing in, hands down, breathing out, higher plank, lower plank, breathing in, upper dog, breathing out, down facing dog, breathing in, bend your knees, if you want to jump, you can. Well, that was not the best one. 
See, that's what I say. You, make, you need to make sure you're lifting your hips and then land uh, softly. Oh, and next time I will show you. That's for me, it's still practice too. Next time, hopefully, I will show you a better one. But yeah, like I said earlier, try to just come and sit down on your knees instead of jump. Okay. Um, flex your arm, left foot, put your right foot up. And make sure there's one hand in between. Now, lift the opposite arm, breathing it in. Breathing it out and put your um, elbow on the outside of your knee. Now, some people are able to go around and then grab your hand. If you have a towel, you can also hold on to it like this. And then make sure you're opening your body by looking back. Now, if that's not comfortable, you can also just put your hand down and look over your shoulder that way. Maybe you want to rather want to circle your arm around your knee. That's totally up to you. Make sure you keep your front foot flexed. Breathe in one more time, and when you breathe out, look at the front, and let go. Good twist, follow back. Stay here, or go with me through the whole flow. Hands down, breathing in, breathing out, slower. Breathing in, lift yourself away from the floor. Breathing out, down facing dog. Breathing in, bend your knees, lower one, lower the other, and sit down. Other side. Now make sure there's one hand in between. Flex that foot. Breathing in, raise the other arm. Elbow on the outside of your knee. Now grab that towel again if you really want to. And to be like this and open your chest and look over your shoulder that way or just put your hand down breathe in one more time Breathe out, look forward. Breathe in, in your vinyasa, hands down. And breathe out, high plank, lower plank. Breathe in, upper dog. Breathing out, down facing dog. Breathing in, bend your knees. And jump or sit down. Rather just sit down. Okay. Um, looking at the time already. I'll go so quick. Yeah. I think I've done this one one time before. You can um, have your. So yeah, you can have your arms underneath and then put them a level out to the side and put your hands out to the side and just be here or rest your hands onto your uh, legs if that's not comfortable you can have your hands just in between so your elbows kind of toward the, towards the inside of your knees and be here with a long back that's the option or come with me and have those arms facing, hands facing to the back and then you're going to extend your legs all the way for turtle pose now breathe in wherever you are in those positions look forward
Shavasana. Bring it in, hands down. Breathe out, high plank, lower plank. Breathe in, up dog. Breathe out, down facing dog. Breathe in, bend your knees, lower. And breathe out, come and sit down. Now, this time, um, I'm going to come a little bit lower so you can still see me, hopefully. Now, lay down onto your back. Make sure your um, left leg is on the floor and flex your feet. Bring your other knee towards you. Now, um, you maybe need to keep that knee like that, but try to bend it, extend it all the way. You can also just hold on with that towel again around your foot or your bent or whatever you need. And then bend your knee a little bit. Or if you can, grab your big toe. Now, in all those positions, we're going to reach our chest towards our upper leg. We just have done this standing and then we're doing it laying it down. Breathing in and out. Now, from here, lay down and bring your leg all the way out to the side. Now, you can have your knee also bended and then just open it like that. Maybe rest it in your hand or rest your calf in your hand like that if that's working better for you. But make sure, put your other hand onto your hip and press that hip kind of down. So we're staying with that hip down into the mat. Now breathe in, take your leg all the way up. Breathe out. Now you can hold it here. Or bend your knee a little bit again, or use that bend. Whatever feels good for you. But make sure you flex that foot and feel it stretch on the back of your leg. Elbows out to the sides. Breathe in one more time, and when you breathe out, slow it down. I hope it was in front of the camera still. It's always hard to see kind of from here with all those texts in front. <laughs> nice though, all those comments. Okay, now put your hands down, vinyasa time, breathing in. Breathing out, lower. Breathe in, open your chest. Breathe out, down facing dog. Breathe in, bend your knees, lower one, lower the other, and come and lie down. Now, a little bit lower again, otherwise I cannot. Let's go to the home. Again, you can keep your knee bended or you, um, extend it and use this band around your foot again. Whatever feels good for you, but make sure you're coming up with your chest towards your leg. Flex your other foot. Like this, or extend it and rest it 
into your hand. And really important is that you keep this hip onto the mat. Don't roll to the sides. So if you cannot touch your feet down onto the floor, that's totally fine. And just feel your back and your neck relaxing all the way from the top down towards your tailbone. Now breathe in, lift your leg up. And breathe out, hold it up your calf or your ankle or bend it a little bit. That's totally fine too. But keep laying down, flex that foot and breathe. For Vinyasa, sitting here or come with me, breathe in, breathe out, lower down, breathe in, open that chest, breathe out, down facing dog, breathe in, bend your knees, lower one, lower the other and come and sit down. Now I did want to, really want to do one more position. Time is flying. Um, now let's just do that next time. Next time I will do this. It's, it's a funny one with uh, your feet like this, like Charlie Chaplin. Uh, but time really flies and I really want to do a full meditation and not go over um, the hour too long. So um, let's just sit up with your uh, legs crisscrossed or come to half lotus or full lotus. And just sit up all the way, put your hands onto your knees, your front finger and your top uh, your top finger and your thumb together. Sit up straight, bring your chin to your chest and try to active all your bum mass all the way down there. Try to bring your belly to your spine and your chin to your chest. And while those energy locks are locked, try to use your breathing through your throat and focus on that. This is the easiest moment to focus on this position. This is a position not too hard. So now you can just focus on your breathing. flow through your body in the right way. Breathe in and look up. Breathe out and let go of this position. Or stay sitting here if this is very comfortable for you, but it's time for the meditation. I hope you take the time for it, especially in this stressful time. We need to just totally relax our brain, especially in our body. So try to come to a comfortable position if you can. Lay down on the on your mat and try to extend your legs all the way and let them feel open to the side. And maybe you kind of uh, have 
the lower back pain and um, put your feet down onto the mat and let your knee fall into each other. Before I forget, if you need something warm, try to stay warm, grab a blanket or anything. If you're not staying with me for the meditation, but you join me, thank you. And let me know what you thought about it. Now close your eyes and just feel your body for a moment. Feel how it feels. Is it heavy or do you still feel any tension? not what we want. So try to raise your shoulders up towards your ear and then relax them all the way down. Feel them back into the mat. Maybe you want to bring your chin to your chest to make a long neck. And try to lay your arms on the side of your body, a little bit farther away, with your hand palms open towards the ceiling. Let your fingers curl in a natural position. Now softly breathe in through your nose. And when you breathe out, let it sink down all the way through your body. And again, take a deep breath in. And let it flow through your body. Try to relax all the way from your neck. Touch your tailbone through your legs. Let's breathe and raise our chest up. And breathe out, let it sink down and feel your top of your body totally resting in the mat. And this time lift your belly, breathing in. And when you breathe out, let it sink down. Feel your lower back becoming heavy. Torch your hips and your glutes and your legs. Try to soften your face. The muscles around your eyes and your mouth. Make sure your jaw is relaxed. And hear the music. Try to breathe with it if that helps with you. Let your breath become heavy and a lot slower. Soft breath in and soft breath out. And if you want, just breathe out through your mouth and feel the warm breath. Just stay with your breath and stay with the music. And if you find it hard, bring yourself to a place where you always get comfortable and where you can always relax. Because we want to just be with your body, feel the energy, your breath and the happiness and try to just relax there. Maybe think that the sun is shining on your body. Feel warm and soft. And please let all those thoughts just fly by. Every moment when a thought shows up, just take 
feeling of it and breathe in and just let it flow away again. Try to really enjoy this moment with yourself, your body.
this meditation but you can stay if you want to you're at your home so you can make that decision if you want to stay for a couple more minutes go down the hill to keep relaxing and hopefully you can take this to your real life sometimes feel how this feels feel how relaxed your body can be and feel how relaxed your brain can be and we actually really need this especially this time when the world is turned upside down so try to squeeze in those moments It's really important that we stay relaxed for our brain and our bodies. And as you can feel, it helps. It's nice to just have that moment for yourself. Slowly just wake up your toes and your fingers. Take your time to let your body wake you up. Roll your legs and your arms a little bit. Maybe you want to press your shoulders into the mat one more time. Maybe you want to roll your head from one side to the other. your body like you wake up bringing your arms above your head extending your legs squeeze all your muscles while you breathe in and when you breathe out let go again and then bring your knees towards your chest if you want to and just roll your lower back into the mat and slowly roll on your right side and lay down for a minute there take a couple more breaths and just feel your body feel how heavy it became and then slowly press yourself up and come to a pretty sitting position with me so we can finish this session. But you can keep your eyes closed if you want. And I hope you will keep this relaxed body for the rest of your day with you. And try to keep your brain relaxed too. For now, Take your arms to the side, reach them up when you're breathing. Breathe out, bring your hands towards your head and towards your heart. Namaste. Thank you for joining me again. Please let me know. Any comments are always welcome um, because I hope I will bring a little bit of brightness in your life right now it's doing this yoga and um, yeah I want to keep doing it the right way so um, any comments are welcome and um, I hope you enjoyed it again and hopefully see you next time probably Friday when it is again 7 o'clock again and that will be Thursday evening 9 o'clock in Holland have a lovely rest of your day